Good people YouTube, I'm the Watch Idiot, and we've got another citizen here. I mean, I was really happy to see how well received my first citizen video was from three weeks ago. So, you know, considering how awesome citizen is, I am more than happy to, you know, explore this awesome, awesome brand. And today I've got the BN 0220-16E, which I got as a birthday gift. So thank you very much, you know who you are. And yeah, my path to choosing this was not straightforward because at first I thought it was you know stupid and ugly but it grew on me fast <laughs> fast so in this video we're gonna go over all the awesome little details of this watch compared to other watches to get a sense of the size explain why I got it in the first place and if it's worth it but in a nutshell I absolutely love it and I really do think that this can end up being my favorite watch of 2022 despite just starting the third month of the year so uh, yeah and that's despite it not being my usual type of watch so uh, yeah let's just get into it so, as always let's do the numbers first because the dimensions on paper do not paint an accurate picture of what this watch is really like in person and on the wrist so first of all it's got a 46 millimeter wide case but it's also got a lug to lug that's 46 millimeters as well so that means that it doesn't have any lugs and that means that it's going to wear much smaller than the 46 millimeter dimension would suggest and when you compare this watch to others it really drives home that point because compared to the promaster diver i reviewed it three weeks ago it's not that much bigger and compared to an SKX, it wears pretty similarly. So I'd say that if you can wear an SKX, then you can absolutely definitely wear this Citizen. Also before I bought it, I could tell that the dial is gonna be relatively small compared to the rest of the watch, which in turn makes the watch wear much smaller. And in real life, it comes in at 29.3 millimeters, which is much smaller compared to the 32 millimeter dial on the Pelagos. And you can see for yourself, I mean, how much of a difference it makes in terms of how big the watch looks. And to drive home this point even further, I have it here on my friend's wrist, which is less than six and a half inches. And yeah, it looks fine. And it's the similar experience to my Seiko Tuna, which I had an absolutely love, which I sold, unfortunately. The size would have been for nothing if it was super thick, but it is not, thankfully. And it only comes in at 13.3 millimeters, which is not very thick in general, but also it wears even thinner because of the size of the case. Officially, it's 14.1 millimeters, I think, but that's only down to the fact that they're measuring it up to the top of the bezel, and those little nub things on the edges of the bezel really don't play a visual role in the thickness at all. And the final cherry on top is that it weighs only 88 grams because it's super titanium, and yeah, that makes this watch super comfy and for comparison the standard promaster diver comes in at 92 grams only so yeah even lighter than that so yeah i mean it took me a really long time to decide whether or not i wanted to talk about the dial first or the case and bezel first because i have so much to say about both things and both of them play such a big role in why i love this watch but obviously i have to go for the case and bezel first because it's just wild and it's probably the main attraction here so we've got ourselves a 46 millimeter super titanium case with duratec hardening treatment to make it more scratch resistant you know let's see how that actually goes but the first thing that you see is the wild shape of the case and it, it, because it's kind of a circular case with four case guards at the four corners i guess you could say and this entire design is based off of the 1982 watch that citizen made which at that time had the highest water resistance of any quartz watch which was 1300 meters the first time i saw it as I mentioned before, I thought it was ugly, but for just for some reason, it did, just didn't like go of me. I mean, it just I just wanted the more of this organic looking thing. I mean, I actually think that this whole case and watch kind of looks like some sort of sea creature. I think, and actually, I, I think it looks even more like a monster than a Seiko monster for that matter. And another reason why I wanted it more was because of that bezel design, because it's so intense. I mean. It's got a sort of rook looking thing going on up top and it's obviously unbelievably grippy because it's pretty much impossible not to get a good purchase on it. And I also love how the bezel insert pairs with the bezel because it's matte relatively simple yet bold without going overboard because if the insert had some sort of crazy stupid font on it, then it would have just been a bit too much 
given the crazy design of the bezel and the case that's already there. In terms of the feel of the 60 clicks, it's solid. I mean, I like it, but it does feel pretty different in light, I guess you could say, compared to other steel watches. And that really comes down to the fact that it is titanium, I suppose. And I also think that's partly due to the case finish as well, which we're, we'll get into, but uh, let's listen to it. And I mentioned the case finish, and that's because the entire thing is finished in a sort of powder coated look i guess i mean i mean i thought that it was going to be fully sandblasted but that is not the case because the case back is sandblasted and the rest of the case does not look like that case back instead we've got a sort of soft feel to it i mean it's kind of like a soft rock i mean it's really hard to describe but either way i love 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 the look and the feel of it because it really is unlike anything else that I've experienced before. Oh, and the crown is nice and big with an amazing grip because of that knurling, and it's signed at the end with the ProMaster logo. So yeah, overall, it suits the tool look of the rest of the watch really, really nicely. Okay, so while the case and the bezel are undoubtedly gonna be the first things that people notice, but I think that one of the biggest reasons why this watch is gonna probably end up being a keeper for me is because of that dial and that handset and the indices for that matter, and just how well it works with the rest of the watch. I mean, it's just so well done and so well balanced in the grand scheme of things. So at first glance, the dial and hands don't look that different or special, especially compared to the rest of the case and that bezel. And that's just because the handset is the traditional hour minute hand and the modern cathedral hour hand that you see on many other citizen divers and the indices have a bit of citizen flair, but they're still pretty chill being mainly, you know, kind of triangle looking things and circles. But there's so much more to these elements. And the main thing is that the handset and the indices are gilt, meaning that they're gold. But here citizen made them matte gold, which makes them look more like like they're yellow, but with a really nice and sophisticated sheen. So just a really elevated yellow, I guess you can call it. I mean, I, yeah, I cannot stress enough how much they add to the experience. And that also goes for the dark yellow sort of color that's on the bezel as well. And now onto the dial and in pictures, it kind of just looks like it's just like a matte black dial, which would have been fine. But then other reviews were saying that it's a kind of sparkly looking dial, which sounded to me really dumb considering how brutal of a tool watch this is but when i finally got it it instantly made sense to me i mean it wasn't mentioned anywhere officially but this dial must have been influenced by grip tape that's used on stairs for extra grip or just anywhere that you need extra grip probably on boats as well for that matter in other words it kind of looks like sandpaper and like grip tape and sandpaper the sparkliness can only really be seen in direct light the rest of the time it just looks like a cool matte textured dial that completely hides the eco drive solar panels yeah i've never seen a dial like this and i am in love with it because it's such a thoughtful idea to tie it back to grip tape and things like that because it not only looks simple yet different but it also connects it to that super tool watch aesthetic and yeah it's just so awesome to see the thought that citizen put into making this watch but either way the hands and indices plus this dial makes for you know one of the coolest combos that i've seen on a dive watch in a really long really long time you know i find myself just staring at this watch so much so so much and then we've got the loom and the loom is great as you would expect from citizen and yeah, I mean, it's it's just, it's it's very bright. I think it's actually just about as bright as Seiko's Lumi Bright, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, overall, no complaints at all in the Lumi department. The strap isn't anything mind blowing. However, for me, it adds a lot to the overall experience and it's something that could have gone wrong very quick. First of all, it's got a 24 millimeter lug width, which is huge. And I usually top out at 22 millimeters. I don't have any 24 millimeters straps in my giant strap collection over there. And actually because of the way it is right now, it's really well proportioned given the case. And yeah, I mean, it tapers down to 20 millimeters. So when I'm wearing it, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a giant chunky strap. I mean, it just feels kind of like any other 20 millimeter strap that I have. And the rubber itself is thick and durable, but it's still soft enough to be comfortable. And this is actually exactly the type of strap that I would want 
in a watch like this because it's soft and cuffy so I can wear it a little bit further up my wrist which isn't what I do normally but it can stay there without me having to really tighten up the the strap, which is something that I cannot stand. But beyond that, there are, you know, little small details that just make it, make the strap a little bit better. But the main one that I really like is at the end of the strap, it kind of flares out a little bit. And what that does is that it stops the watch from immediately falling off when you take it off. And it's a small detail, but I love it. And I'm sure that when you're actually putting on the watch or taking it off while you're diving or doing literally anything outside, I mean, it's nice to have a fail safe there. Also, you get this really cool dive suit extension that you can add on if you need a lot more strap. And this is actually something that I use when I strap it on on the outside of my jacket, you know, just because I can. And yeah, it's got that same titanium buckle too. So can I recommend this watch? And yeah, obviously I can recommend this watch. I mean, for me, the main reason why it's got so much wrist time and why I just can't stop looking at it is because of that super unique design of the case bezel and how just the dial and hands and indices just work with everything. And I know for a fact that this isn't gonna be a watch for everyone because it is a bit crazy. But for someone who enjoys watches that are just a bit different and maybe enjoy the historical aspect of this watch, then I would say absolutely go for it because at that $400 mark, I mean, you're getting so much watch for the money. Yeah, I mean, I can't get over how much I love this watch. I mean, this watch needed to get every single aspect right in terms of design and they got it right. I mean, this could have gone wrong so fast. So yeah, there you have it. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think about the watch. If you love it, if you hate it, you know, if you have what have one or you want to get one at some point, because I'd love to hear from you guys. And yeah, since you're at this point of the video, go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button so that you're on top of everything that comes out over here. And it helps the channel big time. And that just makes me a very happy boy. So yeah, <laughs> until the next video, good day.